Dude, are you totally stoked for Battlefield 1? Yeah, it just it sucks that there's no AR-15s in it anymore. Why would you say there's no AR-15s in it? It's World War I. World War I was 1914 to 1918. Guess what's in the middle of that? 1915. Colt, 1911. Developed in 1911. Where do you think the AR-15 gets the 15 from? You sure? I'm positive. I'm a gun expert. Welcome to Demolition Ranch. Ever since I've heard about the 50 BMG, I've heard about how powerful it is. So powerful, in fact, that even if you don't get hit by the bullet, but it comes near you, it can kill you, is the rumor. I've actually been told to my face that if it passes within three feet of you, that shockwave has enough power to rip an arm off or just to cave in your chest and kill you. Well, I've shot a lot of 50 BMG and I'm here to show you the facts. And first I'm gonna show you the power of 50 BMG against this Hill and Mac target. I'm gonna shoot it with a nine millimeter first and then we'll shoot it with 50 BMG just so you can see how much more power the big gun has. Nine millimeter pistol. Let's see how far it rocks back that target. I don't think it rocked it back at all. There's our hit right in the center. I didn't see this thing move back at all. Let's try a 50 BMG. Hopefully you could tell this thing gets thrown way back. The 50 BMG has a ridiculous amount of power. Now that we've demonstrated that, Let's see how much shockwave there is. So with the mythical power of the 50 BMG, it should knock a drone out of the sky just by passing near it, right? Let's find out. Seem pretty stable. Look how much they move. They're very slick, very easy to knock over. And I'm not just going to shoot a 50 cal past them. I'm going to try to shoot a 50 cal through one of them and see if they all still stay standing. Operator Drewski was helping me film this video, but then he got my drone stuck in a tree and he's trying to get it out. Got it. Nice! <laughs> the wind blew this thing over just to show you how light these cups are. These are pretty cool little drones that I have. I got these from Optics Planet and there's a link in the description below. Pretty neat little drones for a pretty good price. I'm gonna shoot the bottom center cup and see if the tower remains standing. Nice. Yep. <laughs> uh, it moved a little bit. So this will show you right there. It moved it a little bit, but not much. And our tower stayed up. We have a small house of cards. I wanted to make it bigger, but the wind keeps coming and knocking it over. So my plan is to shoot bullets through here. And I have one card back here that will be getting hit, just so you can see that I'm not firing bullets off to the side. They're gonna go straight through here, the very center, hit that card, and ideally, this will not fall over if there's not a big shock wave. We're gonna start small. This is an Air 15 chambered in 2545 sharps. This is their 100 grain hog smasher round. So bigger than a regular AR-15 bullet. Should create more, create more of a shock wave. Let's find out. Oh, nice. Let's go check it out wow. just so you can see that there was no cheating involved. So a bullet passed straight through this house of cards into that and did nothing. And so there's no cheating involved. You can see all just a regular house of cards. If a 50 BMG will rip someone's arm off as it passes near them, it most definitely would knock over a house of cards as it passes through them, right? Maybe. <laughs> Perfect shot, straight through. Let's go check it out, prove that it's a real house of cards.
we got a bullet hole in the back card and real house of cards Big thanks to Audible.com for helping support Demolition Ranch. Right now I'm listening to a book called Game of Thrones by George R.R. R. Martin. And I'll be honest, I didn't even know the book existed until I got well into the HBO series, series and now I'm obsessed with it. So if the book is anything like that, it's going to be awesome. Right now, Eddard Stark just left Winterfell. He has to go help the king because the kingdom is crumbling and it's about to get good. And if you want to listen to this book, there's a link in the description below, and if you use it, you get a free 30-day trial to Audible, and you can listen to um, that book or any of their other 180,000 titles. I hope you liked this video, and I hope it proved that bullets don't really make very big shockwaves, even giant, super powerful bullets like a 50 BMG, and that's because they're made to be aerodynamic. They're made to not disrupt much air. If they were disrupting a lot of air, they would have tons of friction and they wouldn't go very far or very fast. So they're made to fly through pretty seamlessly and not disrupt anything. And that's why they don't really tear people's arms off when they pass them. Big thanks to Operator Drewski for helping with this video today. He did all the filming and we're about to go make a video for his channel. We're going to be doing a gaming video. It's going to be awesome. So I'll put a link in the description below. Check us out there. Thanks for watching Demotion Ranch and I will see you next time. Contact! That's a great idea. <laughs> what about the quad hog? Ish.